What's up, After Buzzers? I'm back from Hawaii, and I think I'm ready to go to Berlin. We're here talking about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and we got a special guest in the studio. Stay tuned. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Cardi, big brain on offset. Credit to get man, you upset. Cardi got rich, they upset. Cardi put the pussy on offset. Cardi, Cardi, big brain on offset. You've been a party with a sad twin. Hey guys, what is up? We are here in the studio. I am your host, Thomas Rulina. We've got a great show for you. Who am I with tonight? Hi guys, I'm Jennifer Leone. You can find me on Twitter at Jennifer Leone TV. Hi everyone, I'm Cynthia Nicole. And it's your boy DJ Richie Sky. All right, and our special guest is here. Welcome, Matt Serafa. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Welcome, welcome. What's poppin'? Yes. Where can everybody find you? At Matt Sarafa, M-A-T-T-S-A-R-A-F-A, -A -A, on every social media platform possible. Yes, definitely check it out. I saw your Insta earlier. Lots of great things over Thank there. Thank you. Lots of highlight. Lots of face, too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> lots of everything. Speaking of which, today um, the episode starts off with a lot of fashion. And since um, people out there that are watching Matt has a fashion line, we'll get into all of his designs and everything later on. But uh, just uh, first impressions of the ladies' fashion this season. I really like it. Um, I'm very, um, I'm such a huge fan of Erica Jane. I think she has the coolest style out of all the ladies. Um, sorry to my godmother, Kyle, but I think she takes the cake on that one. Um, the one thing about this episode, though, tonight, is I don't know what was going on with all the gold lip colors. Did you notice that all the time? <laughs> and it didn't look good on any of them. Like, no offense, but, like, the, I don't know what was up with that. Um... That was that. That was really what my mind was all on. Um, but otherwise, everyone's fashion was good. There were no like super big eyesores or anything. Um, what are your What are your um, takes on Dorit's fashion? Because she seems to be somebody that has a pretty strong team, and she always tries to pull off some really different looks. I think she looks good most of the time. Um, I. Her personality is definitely questionable. Some of the things that she says are questionable. Um, but I do think she, for the most part, always looks put together. I will give her that. Yes. And for the panel, uh, what do you guys think about the fashions this season? I mean, we're kind of really into the season at this point. We'll be talking about some fashion. We'll also be talking about um, the dinner drama that happened. And we're also going to be talking about the three-way friendship we have going on. But first, the fashion. I just have to say, I love your nails. Boom! Boom. Yes. Yes. Close up. Right? Just got them done. They Fresh set. Yes. So <laughs> fun. Thank you. They're extra. Yes. They're real extra. But, but so no, I, I love it. So I love it. They fit. Um, For the ones listening, there's glitter everywhere and we love it. Glitter, rhinestone, <laughs> rings, yeah. crystal, Swarovski, dollar bills, everything. Yes. <laughs> yes. But as for the fashion, I really like it. Um, for this episode, I, I saw a lot of the gold lip. Um, but I really liked Lisa Vanderpump's like four inch platform. That was different, right? I don't right? know what those are called, but those look really cool. So, yeah. <laughs> so you're going with Lisa Vanderpump? Yes, okay, I love we have her a, style. We have Erica, we have Lisa Vanderpump. What about you? I'm going to have to give it to Erica because I mean, I feel like she just kills it and nails mm -hmm. it every single time. Particularly, her dinner party look was the best of the episode to me. That was. That was best literally a drawing from, like, Pony Boy yeah. or something. Yeah. I mean, I think you have to appreciate that these women are going from, like, the warm weather to the coldness, mm -hmm. and they just transition so well. They do. Like, Erica Jane's outfit was just, like, unreal when mm -hmm. she's just, like, chilling in her little, like, like it's very casual, black uh, warmth, but she's just, like you know, all high fashion and beautiful. Um, I feel that all the ladies have their moments, but um, to me, Erica, Erica. I, Erica. But Kyle did have great bags this episode. Mm. She had a lot Actually, of Actually, all the episodes. Yeah, yeah right? she really stepped it up. Yes. Every single episode is like a new bag. Well, and do you want to know the sad thing about that? All those bags are gone. I don't know mm, if y'all heard about the robbery. Yeah. It's so sad. Oh. Oh, well, She's so devastated yeah. about it. Let me just introduce everybody. You are Kyle's godson. I am. So people out there uh, that don't know that, uh, describe and tell us what happened. So I got the inside scoop for all of y'all hoes. Ooh, <laughs> let me get my tea. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, she's my godmother. I mean, that's pretty much, like, where it ends. I mean, I call her Auntie Kyle, so that confuses some people. But, yeah, she's been my godmother. She's been my mom's best friend since they were, like, I think, like, eight years old. Um, so I've, like, grown up with her. I know her pretty well. Um, and I really love her. 
and I really appreciate the opportunity that she uh, let me have by coming on the show and then getting my coats in her store. So yeah, yeah, she's the best. She's really sweet. She's just as sweet off camera. Yes, and I did live for her orange trench coat that she was when she was talking to Lisa. Mm -hmm. That was like a statement. Yeah. It's because I feel like when Kyle meets up with Lisa Vanderpump, it's like she has to put on her A game. She's always on her A game, but that's like when you're in with Lisa Vanderpump, it's like her fashion is yeah. just like yeah. up like several notches. Very true. Right? Mm -hmm. So um, going into, um, we have a lot of stuff going on at After Buzz TV, especially with our favorite Maria Menounos. <laughs> so you want to have fun, learn, and grow in all areas of your life? For this, for those who do not have a podcast, we have one for you. Conversations with Maria Menunos. Podcast edition is hosted by our AfterBuzz TV founder and drops every Friday on iTunes. Conversations with Maria Menunos features celebrity and influencer interviews, along with secrets and tips on how to be better in all aspects of your life, from health, wellness, career, relationships, and finances, and more. Let our Maria be the big sister you've all always wanted. Just go to iTunes and subscribe to Conversations with Maria Menunos for free. Be sure to rate and comment and let Maria know who sent you. Mm -hmm. Conversations with Maria Menunos, podcast edition. Check it out. I'll be watching tonight. <laughs> yes, it's amazing. I want to know about the finance. We need to know everything. Yeah, so, yeah Maria is the girl to talk to. Make yeah. us rich. Really yeah. <laughs> exactly. So this episode was fun. We got, um, you know, they were shopping in the beginning, but I did love that they went horseback riding. We have to talk about Kyle's pony. <laughs> <laughs> she the was pony. so okay. small. Yes. And Richie ha is like the biggest Kyle fan. I am. I, I met, <laughs> and he's met Kyle. I met her when we did Watch What Happens Live, and Aww. she was so sweet. Oh, that's so cute. But don't uh, say anything bad about her, because I got her back. <laughs> I never do. No, never I, I, I loved her since season one. Her, right? I'm, I'm here uh, for the team. I was everything. just going to say this. Have any of y'all ever rode horses before? Like, No, but now I want to. Yes. No, you don't. No, I need to. <laughs> yes. Did you not see the episode? Yes, I know, I know. That I know. No, it's scary. It actually is very scary. Well, did because... you have like a crazy experience? or? No, you know, I had this blonde horse. It was great. It's perfect for me. <laughs> but my thought was like, you know, the horse can get out of control mm -hmm. at any moment. So mm -hmm. it really is kind of scary to have that feeling. So I got what Lisa Renner was going through. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Energy. Anybody here? Anybody here ride a horse? I have. What are your guys' experiences before I get on one? I, I mean, they're sweet, but you just, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, please don't go fast. Please don't go fast. I don't want to fall. I'm scared of heights. So yeah. like I try to like, just be like, I love you horse. I love you. And then it, it just rides. So you need a little one. Yeah. <laughs> I like the little ponies. I'll just pet those and hug them. But I, I'll just pass on the horse. Really? For me, what about you? I'm scared. Um, I was like 12 and in the country, like in Nebraska. And I was like, what's there to do in Nebraska? Uh, ride a horse. <laughs> and I was there for like a minute and the kid next to me didn't know who Britney Spears was and I was just freaked out. So then I left. That All was it. All reasons to get off of the horse. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm and good. Leave. I was like, Kyle, no. Yes. Like, where am I? <laughs> oh my God. I have the best meme. I'm tagging everybody later. It's <laughs> from Vanderpump Rules. Oh. Um, so all the drama came from the dinner table. I feel like every Real Housewives drama starts at the dinner table, and it was basically <laughs> just having like an innocent conversation, and then Dorit chimed in. And um, pretty much um, everything kind of went to the left. Anybody want to start with their initial thoughts with this chaotic What were your thoughts on Dorit? She is such a rehasher. That's all I gotta say. She brings up stuff from the past so much, and it's just like, get over it. It's like, like move on. Like, that's, <laughs> yes. honestly, that's all I think about. Like, I'm like, and then I feel bad, because I'm like, I'm like, oh, she's like sweet, but I'm like, why do you have to do this kind of stuff? Like, <laughs> why? Do you she's, think she so does annoying. it for the show, or do you think that that's just her personality and she's filming a reality show? I don't know her very well, so it's hard to say, but I think feel like sh she's a damn good actress if she is acting because she makes it really believable that she is it's like a screw loose almost you know yeah. like there's something there's something off yeah what about you guys how does the table feel <laughs> you know, uh, we've seen it so many times i felt like i watched this episode already I, like that's how i, I just felt. felt like we're going back to that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no let's not Let's not, let's not they should have just talked about Vegas, too, and or everything like, else that I'm happened like, in the first episode. We went back last season. I was going to say, they didn't even pull it back an episode or two. They brought it back a whole yeah, season. Yeah. I was like, yeah. wow. 
panty gate, panty gate. really. But is it the references and is it, you know, in the housewife game that we call it, is it the references of wanting to bring up stuff to solidify your, like, diamond? And there's so much, I feel like there's so much pressure to be a housewife mm -hmm. and to hold that peach, hold that diamond, hold everything. And okay. do you feel like there's a lot of that going on this season? Can I just say something? Then? I, I just feel like this season is boring and she uh -oh. just bought it up to stir up the pot. Like, I really mm. do. I just don't feel like there's enough going on. And I feel like that was the only thing that was going to spark any level of debate. And I felt like she knew to direct that at Kyle because Kyle reacts. Mm hmm you know, that's what we love about Kyle, From even from season one. She is, I mean, that's you're getting her reaction. So yeah. I felt like she directed that towards her because she knew she was going to explode. That's what I think. Yeah, you're right. There's on. nothing else going on. Mm -hmm. not True. Not. Well, you already know how I feel about Dorit because she does this in all the episodes. But I think that she shouldn't have brought that up at the table when your godmother was not feeling well and she, you know, had an allergic reaction. Mm -hmm. She was saying that she was stressed. That could be adding more stress to her life and an anxiety attack also. I think Dorit shouldn't have brought that up. But I say that in every episode. So. I think she definitely attacked her because she wanted Kyle to kind of feel as bad as she did in New York with her big moment with the Bella magazine party. Mm -hmm. So I think at that point it was like kind of like almost getting her back. But I Just, under, I, but I knew but it was the wrong there, place. But there, here's the thing. With there. the Bella Magazine party, I was there. I was at the Bella Magazine party Ooh, with perfect. them. Perfect. And I'll tell you the tea. Kyle came up to me. She told me that she wasn't going to bring it up because it was Dorit's night. So that's why she brought it up afterwards, after the fact. She brought it up if you roll back the tapes. Yeah. She waited until afterwards when they were filming the other scene afterwards so she wouldn't ruin her big night. So it's not like she walked into the Bella Magazine party and was like, Dorit, get your ass over here. Like, we're going to have some drama right now. Yeah. She waited. She did the respect thing and then she talked about it like after mm -hmm. I feel like Dorit has a very good way of kind of washing that part <laughs> under mm -hmm. the rug and it's on TV too and you like forget about it but what's your thoughts on it you just know <laughs> how I always think I mean yeah. it's it's the same thing as what Richie's saying I mean I have the conspiracy thoughts of she's doing it for to, to hold her diamond yeah and I'm surprised PK doesn't have his diamond. That's it. It's, uh, that's it. It's, you know, I think that she feels it's a little boring, and when she gets that little demon talking, she's like, ha, 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 what can I bring up? Yeah, she definitely does do that. But at the same time, I think that kind of mentality will get you in trouble because she's doing that because she wants to stay on the show, obviously, mm -hmm. and, like, keep her diamond. But if you go and you look on Instagram... Nobody likes Dorit. Like, I'm oh. sorry, and I feel bad for her, but she is, like, one of the most hated, like, Real Housewives right now. Like, everybody is not feeling Dorit. This She's season. doing too much. She's doing too much, yeah. and it's, like, obvious. So yeah. it's, like, tone it down. And she really does need an ally, and she doesn't really have one. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I agree. So Teddy gets shut down real quick, real fast, by mm -hmm. Lisa Vanderpump, and I felt like I wasn't expecting Lisa to do that, and I loved how Lisa Renna actually said something and was like, you don't have to stop. <laughs> yeah. you know? And then laughed. She yeah. literally, like, like, parked really? it and was yeah. like, oh, no, wait, you can keep talking. Like, Lisa Vanderpump isn't, like, orchestrating this whole thing. So I just, I feel like Teddy still hasn't found that footing of, you know, maybe it, it's going to take one more season for her to, like, really be confident to speak up more. But I feel like you're going to say something. I don't have time for housewives like that. Listen, I need <laughs> you to come on the show with your own strong personality. Otherwise, you need to be a background player. Yes. Mm -hmm. Friend. Not even a friend, because the friends cause drama. Mm -hmm. So do you think Camille Grammer being on this trip versus Teddy? And I want to know for people that are watching, do you think Camille would have been a better person to be on this Berlin trip or... Teddy in this particular episode. Listen, I don't know. Bring back Eileen or somebody. Because, I mean, I don't Bring back Eileen. Yeah. Listen, Eileen. Eileen. Listen, Eileen. Yeah. Eileen just tripped <laughs> in her own poop. You know what I'm saying? Like, every season she did. But, you know, the drama was authentic when she was on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It really was. I mean, I, I argue. <laughs> True. It was. It was authentic when she was on. Okay, so, I don't know. I don't know about Eileen coming on this trip. Because <laughs> I don't think, really, Camille would have done very much on this trip. I mean, I love Camille. Yeah. Well, who knows? Well, do we feel like Lisa Vanderpump and Kyle have, like, that sit-down when the women went on their shopping spree? And, or, their, I'm sorry, their sightseeing. Do we think that anything got resolved between them? What do you think? I don't know. I think, I know Kyle has a lot of love for Lisa. Like, deep down, she really, like, cares for her. So, I mean, I think they're going to get back. 
yeah. lovey dovey. Like they'll figure it's like it a out. ten year like friendship that's or ten plus year friendship that's just gonna continue. Exactly. On. That's just the way their friendship operates. It's up and down. Like we've seen it like on Housewives, like throughout the season. They'll get back to a good place. Do you feel like your godmother, Kyle, like needs like that reassurance from Lisa Vanderpump? Because I feel like she's so open about her life with Lisa and she feels like it is really one sided. Well, I don't want to speak for her, but like from knowing Kyle, I know that she like really goes hard for the people that she loves. Yeah, and you she can cares tell. Them. For exactly, so I feel like when she feels like she's been disrespected or wronged by someone who she cares for, like she's she's not gonna like take the backseat to it. She's gonna say something. So I feel like that's kind of the case. Yeah, totally. Any thoughts on she that? She seems like a very passionate friend, though. Fair, and that's a, that's what we all need, ladies. Yeah, <laughs> yes. a passionate friend. Yeah, so. mm -hmm. and back people up when they deserve. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it was nice seeing also um, Berlin and seeing with you know the ladies. It wasn't all fighting, which was nice. We got to see a little bit of the sights, seeing a lot of the historical moments of Berlin Wall. Mm -hmm. um, anything we want to say before we get into uh, Matt's fashions? Well, uh, the, she shares the hat with uh, Lisa Vanderpump. Yes, oh, yeah. <laughs> she was. <laughs> it was the same hat, and so. it was not planned. You didn't no. see any previews, did no. you? <laughs> no, I did okay. not. So but, cute. Um, I just wanted to kind of wear like fake fur for you. Uh, I see you. And yes. Barbie necklace for I you. love it. Yes. Okay. So we're going to get into um, the great fashions. We were gagging over the episode Aww. where we got to see your coats and like just we were actually going through the table to see like which designs we liked Aww. and I think they're killer man I think Thank they're doing a you. really great job um for those of you that are watching we are looking at a few of his designs now walk us through you know we know you came from Project Runway um yes. junior and you showed in Paris and in New York mm -hmm. so tell us about that let's get into it yeah so I mean I've been designing since I was seven years old I'm 20 now even though I still feel like a teenager so I still tell, tell, sometimes tell people that I'm like 19 but like it's not that big of a Me deal too. <laughs> <laughs> um but i mean yeah i mean i've presented at new york fashion week paris fashion week um i think i was the youngest to ever show up paris fashion week how were the two differently for people out there that are watching that has have never experienced it they were very very different actually paris fashion week was my first time in paris so it was really exciting getting to be there for fashion week like because it's so fun being like in any city during fashion week because everyone's so fashionable and like it's just cool energy um but paris is definitely a lot bougier than new york okay um and also the language barrier was caused some drama um and then new york is more laid back and i feel like it's more mainstream now like everybody knows like new york fashion week and i feel like everybody's at new york fashion week this time like um but yeah, I, I really liked both of them. They were great experiences, and getting to have that like on my resume is really cool. Was it a full, what, what were you showing? Were full you... collections, oh, yeah, nice. my own show. Um, and then actually those fur coats were part of my New York show. Okay. Um, this one actually walked the runway. This was the exact one that walked the runway. Um, but yeah, so basically I've been designing for like longer than I haven't been designing. Um, and... You know, it's just been, it's been a struggle. The fashion industry is cutthroat. Um, but now after being on Housewives, stuff's really started to blow up and finally like come into fruition. So it's been really exciting. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank yes. you, thank you. So is, would you say like the staple of your collection is the fur coats or what is, what can people expect? Um, I did go on your website and it's, it, actually I love the bio part of it. <gasps> thank that you, was really I did that nice. myself. Yeah. Yes. Um, so right now what I'm focusing on is the faux fur coats. Um, a lot of times in the fashion industry you throw a lot of things out there and then you see what sticks. And right now the faux fur is kind of stuck, so I'm going with that. Um, and especially after being on Housewives with them, like I cannot even, like within 24 hours after that show, I had sold enough coats to put me through college all four years, to pay wow. for all four years. It was like literally insane. I was like sobbing. I never in a million years would have thought that bitches would want my coats. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the coats? We yes. were all like, oh, yeah. yes. Yes. all like yeah. picking out Aww. our favorite ones. They're which red. one was your favorite? I think the it was, red. which one? The red one? The red. I, the, red. I, the red's my favorite too, but I just, I overwear that one so much. So I was like, let me switch it up and pull out the cheetah. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there was the colored one too, the with the blue. The multicolored yeah, one. Was sick. I love that one too. I said yeah. that you could, like you could wear that in all black. Right, and I've and done that, that before. Yeah. I was at an event the other night and that's the exact outfit that I put on. Yeah, that's nice. what I loved about it. 
Yes. Yeah, but they just make you feel like such a bad bitch when you put them on. They're available at mattsrafa.com and then um, Kyle by Aline 2 stores nationwide. Perfect. Um, so, yeah, it's so exciting. I was just texting Kyle this morning. They literally cannot keep them in stock. I've had to restock, like, six different shipments, and they all sell out within the next, like, two days. And there's, like, a pre-order list. That like, is amazing. Um, it's so crazy. For I both never... of you guys. Right? I yeah. know. That's awesome. Yeah. Yes. Keep it in the family. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. So it's, like, when you were younger, you, like, always wanted to be a fashion designer? Do you want to be something else? And then it turned into fashion? Ever since I was seven, um, I actually I saw Project Runway for the first time with my mom. It was, like, a marathon when it was still on Bravo. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, oh, my God, I want to do this. Was so... that, like, the time Christian Siriana won? Yes. Okay. Yes, it was. That was actually the first season that I ever saw. It was I think it was season. mine, too and it was I'm glad I started with that one it was so good because there was a good mix of drama and fashion I love all those so Mm -hmm. it was like I've just been designing ever since then it's been it's been a crazy ride and I'm happy that it's finally starting to like pay off oh yeah congratulations on everything thank you yeah I can't wait to see like where you're gonna like go after this I feel like this is just the beginning for you girl me too I cannot wait do you do you have any fashion advice for this spring and summer for Whoa. ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> okay, one of the biggest things right now is I've been saying this for a hot second, but it's like snake skin, like reptile print, like that's oh, yes. huge. I had that in my um, in my Paris Fashion Week collection. I predicted that. I, I called dibs on that trend. Um, but that's that's like one of the biggest things. Like I'm dying for a pair of like snakeskin like thigh high boots. Oh, that's yeah. my next. Uh, I'm my gonna next take purchase. some notes. Hey, and I'm gonna snatch that chain on yeah. the way out. Like that. <laughs> and your favorite fashion designers are? Oh God, I have so many. Um, but right now I'm really into Moschino. I love mm. Jeremy Scott. Like I love that man to death. Um, love Versace. Um, I like the the people who aren't afraid to go outside of the box. Mm-hmm. Like I'm a very outside of the box type of bitch. So yes. I don't like like the Calvin Kleins or like the boring stuff. Like that's just so <laughs> not me. Um, Beverly Beach by Dorit. <laughs> Stop! You're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> We're just naming collections. Yeah. <laughs> We're just naming. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you just turned into Wendy Williams. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> um, so, speaking of Wendy Williams, she uh, had Erica Girardi, Erica Jane, on her show recently. I watched the interview. Did you guys get to check it out? Have not. It was a really good interview. I she saw definitely... it in the nail salon. I was oh, getting my did? nails and I was like, oh, there she is. She nailed it, and she also. Um, I'll have Richie say this, but um, she's killing it right now. She is just a little bit of news and gossip for you guys. After Buzz TV News. So you guys know that she put out her memoir, Pretty Mess, and I can tell you guys that it just hit the New York Times bestsellers list. Yay. So congrats Amazing. to Erica Jane, Erica Girardi on that. And you know, some of the reviews have been kind of mixed because a lot of people felt like she was basically just skimming the surface of you know her life in detail, but maybe that means that she's leaving room for the next book. So more to come on that. We shall see what happens, but congrats to her. Yes. yes. So, uh, you know, the episode pretty much ends with everybody at, you know, having a great time. And it was kind of a weird ending because they usually end it with a lot of high drama. And Mm -hmm. it was just like everybody having a good time. And it was like next time. Yeah. So predictions for next week. And now you're after Buzz TV. Predictions. It was kind of a short preview or maybe I just wanted more. But what are we feeling for next week? Well, I think that finally it's uh, starting to pick up. Even though I have said that before, um, I, it just went down. It's just like going like this. It has been up and down. But it's about time that they start the you know drama momentum, keep it going, and then you're ready for the uh, reunion. reunion. So I think we're at that point at this time, and uh, I'm really excited for it just because I feel that there's a lot that's going to be on the table. Uh, and Dorit, of course, will bring up everything, and uh, yeah. I think people are sick of it, and we'll start to call her out. Yeah. I just want to see if Teddy and Erica work it out and just hash out whatever they're going through. I just want to see that. I think that's a repairable friendship. I just yeah. think that they're not like communicating as like friends because they just are so different but i think they'll find commonalities at some point yeah. if her and dorit can be friends her and teddy can <laughs> yes definitely go shopping and hang out <laughs> yeah. or do something fun yeah she doesn't like shopping she thinks it's boring that's why i added do something <laughs> fun yeah <laughs> what about oh, ride horses or they could do yes. both how about that 
They're never going to work that out. That's <laughs> you really think so? <laughs> I don't think they're going to work it out anytime soon. I mean, I just don't see it happening because basically they've still been actually in kind of engaged in a little bit of a Twitter war. So I don't know. Oh. I just don't. I'm not seeing that. Not seeing it. Mm-hmm. All right. What are your predictions? And I can tell you exactly what's going to happen. Dorit's going to bring up some mess from the past. And mm-hmm. then it's going to be aimed towards one of them. They're going to get in a fight. At, it's not, but it's not gonna be like a big old fight, like not a good juicy love and hip hop fight. It's just <laughs> gonna be like an exchange of words kind of fight. They're both gonna be in their feelings. They're gonna go to lunch. They're gonna hash it out, and they're gonna move on. That's exactly what's gonna happen. All right, we'll have to see and find out. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank it you has for been so much me. fun. Make sure to check out all of his designs. I'll let you tell us where we can find you again on social media and yes. your website. Okay, all my social media is Matt Sarafa, M A T T S A R A F A, and my website is mattsarafa.com. Ooh, that was loud. <laughs> <laughs> and Richie, where can we find you? You guys can find me at DJ Richie Sky on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. You can find me on all social media under Cynthia Nicole 5. You guys can find me at Jennifer Leone TV. You guys can find me at Thomas Relina. Make sure to check out my YouTube show. It's called Your Time with Thomas. And check out my show on TV. It's called Your Time with Thomas The Experience on KXLA. We'll see you guys here next week. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Bye. Bye. See you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.